Hey, everybody, you're watching the sit down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Look who's here, Caesar Black Ink Crew New York, coming back to VH1. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, man. I can't complain, man. I'm just blessed to be here. Well, I'm happy you are COVID free now. I mean, that's the first thing I learned by checking out the episode coming out. So it's been a year for everybody, but how are you holding up with everything going on? Man, listen, that might have been one of the most scariest experiences ever. A lot of people don't understand, like, with that whole COVID thing, it was more of a, it was more of a, a disbelief at first because you sit there and you be like, nah, I can't be having this. Nah, this shit ain't happening. And it's like everything went down. It, it was, it was, it was just horrible because I caught it in the beginning, like in March. Wow. Yeah. Was, you know, your, 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 your first thing is you tell your mother, like, ma, I'm sick. You know, my mother got scared for me. Came up here after a couple of days, and then she got sick. Oh man! So and uh, and uh, I got over mine, but she it took her a minute to get over us. Like she had to go to the hospital, be put on ventilators, and everybody know once you be put on ventilators, most of the time you don't come off. Mm -hmm. You feel? Me? So it was like it was it was a trying time and it was a scary time, and just for my mother going through that, it was just like. I didn't even care about me no more. All I wanted to do make, make sure my mom's was straight. But she she got through it, you know what I mean? And we eventually got back to living somewhat regular, you feel? Because even though we got through it, the world really didn't get back to, still hasn't got to how it used to be. And right now, we're just trying to, we're just trying to live through these times. There's tough times. So I'm really happy to hear your mom's okay. Really happy to hear you're okay. And that was right at the beginning, right? We've been doing this thing for over a year, but slowly but surely, we got a little normalcy coming back. We got you and the Black Ink crew coming back. We got the crew together in New York. So what was it like just bringing the band back together just to try and get back to life a little bit here? I mean, what can I say? It was difficult because a lot of people don't know that the 113th, that whole shop is gone. Yeah. We wasn't able to save it. And when we was in a fight to save it, the co this COVID thing happened and shut down everything. So we were never able to revisit that situation and it's over a year. So we could basically call that quits, you feel me? And then on top of that, where we was basically we was homeless, jobless, careerless, just wondering what's gonna be the next step. The whole world was wondering what's gonna be the next step because no one could really move and make plans when we don't even know the certainty of our future. So it was, it was, it was very, it was very testing times, I should say. Because besides all that, we didn't even know if we still have a TV show. Because yeah. you know how difficult it is to film a reality TV show if you have to stay six feet apart. Like it's almost virtually impossible. And we had to make certain COVID regulations that I'm glad Viacom passed down and we got we got it back popping. And thank God we got it back popping because TV was so dry without us. <laughs> I mean, listen, we need you and the crew. We need you flipping tables out there. We need to see you having a good time. We missed all that. So what was the best part of the whole experience given everything you just said? Trying to get back to some type of normalcy. Like for the last year, it's been it's been abnormal. Like nothing that you regularly used to doing, you could do anymore. Like gyms wasn't open. You had to work out in the house. You catching up on movies or seeing movies that you never even thought about watching. Shoot, I I I, I came up with a new addiction of video games over this COVID. Like I'm, I'm really addicted to video games now. I didn't know how fun they was until so I sat there during COVID, picked up a couple of games, and was like, "Hey, this is fun." But like I said, it's it's one of those things that I'm just happy, happy that we're back and grateful. Well, I think the cool thing is that whether it's you or people in New York, New Yorkers are resilient, right? They find a way to pick themselves up, get it back together. You've had your businesses all over the country. What's it about New York specifically that really resonates with you and that you love about the Big Apple? The thing with New York is just, it's home. Like I know every square block of it, every, like I could never sit and go anywhere else and not get homesick. I might be in Atlanta, I might, you know, like, I might even reside in Atlanta, but I always gotta come back to New York. 
I always, I make sure of that because it's no place like home. And it's something about the city with all the multi multicultures and everything. It's like a melting pot and it's always changing. Like you go to this one restaurant for five years and guess what? That 60 is a whole different restaurant. This city is interchanging and you never get used to it. So I know this season we're going to see a little bit of a sneak peek into your personal life and your love life. You know, we've seen kind of the evolution with you. What's it like to kind of put some roots down here finally? I mean, it feels good. Like it was for a minute, you know, for a very long time. I always thought like, man, me settling down, me doing us, that's just not me. But it's a it's a different feel. Like it's a more fulfilling feel, uh, for a more fulfilling um, experience than anything because it's like things that you wasn't expecting is like now it's like wow the things that you were missing is now fulfilled and it's like it just it makes life more fulfilling in the episode that people will see you say you feel like you've been living the American dream just in terms of what you built and what you've been able to do what are you most proud of in terms of your story and when you look at just the whole experience so far of what you've been able to do I'm most proud of, it's going to sound funny, but I'm most proud of everybody around me. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it, it, we all had a dream, but to see all of us successful, it, it doesn't happen too many times. Like, yeah, you have a crew of people and then one person is successful and the rest of them is just okay. But to have all of us, like, all of us are able to stand on our own two feet. And, you know, just about Caesar is about the whole black and crew. It, it makes it like my mission that I was trying to accomplish is, is basically I'm doing it. Because my whole thing when we started blacking was to make sure everybody was good. Make sure everybody don't fall victim of like statistics. And we did it. I didn't do it. We did it. So it's like, I'm just happy that me and my friends were able to show the rest of the world, like, we all can do this if we just put our heads down and focus. So people know your story now, they see you on TV. Can you give me a little bit of an idea of who you were when all this was first starting? I mean, before people knew Black Ink Crew, you know, where were you at in your life? I mean, if anybody watched season one and season two, I really wasn't that far from who I was. You know what I mean? I really didn't change until later on but if anybody ever knew me know that I was always determined and I was always determined and focused on being somebody successful I didn't know what I didn't know what was my plan but I always had that in my mind that I had to be more than what I am and even now I still believe that I have more growing and more things to do but now it's like you can see the light a little something. Before you just you just fishing around in the dark. But now I'm starting to see a little bit of the light. It's just a it's just like a, a pin pin drop of light, but it's enough to see that I'm on the right path. Well, it's nice to have a little light amidst all this darkness, man. Caesar, really nice to meet you. Congrats on success, and we'll be watching this season. Thanks so much, man. Thank you.